Welcome to San Diego. Here is your home for the weekend. Oh my goodness. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's really cool, really exciting. I am going to Tiny Fest and it's here in San Diego. Now, if you follow me on YouTube, my entire life is on the East Coast and I love, love, love going to these type shows, whether it's a tiny house festival, whether it's a van life gathering or it's an overland expo. I love going and attending and being part of and even speaking at a lot of these events but I flew to this event. I did not bring any of my rigs. I'm not, I don't have a rig right now, although I'm gonna be building out my truck. And breaking news, I am doing another van, but it is a collaboration van and I'll get more details on that when I start the process of that. But right now we have verbally committed that I am designing and building a van with somebody. I'm not gonna say who just yet. Right now I am at Lindsay, Lindsay Marie and Design Studio because I am renting her van from her. Now she's been on my channel before. I've actually showed her van. It's amazing but I noticed that she is on GoCamp which is a rental company and anybody can actually go on to GoCamp. If you have a van, a class B specifically, then you can put your van on GoCamp or you can also rent a van to go to shows like I'm going today, rent a van to go camping, you can rent a van to go to a music festival, you can rent a van to come to the city and get work done, you can do whatever you want with Go Camp Rentals. I partnered up with them, I'm not getting paid by Go Camp by the way, why am I not getting paid? It's a good point. Anyways, I don't care. That's Bo the van that I will be renting, but obviously I don't have the key, we have to get to her. So Lindsay, what up, what up? Welcome to San Diego. Yeah, uh, this is a go camp process that we're gonna go through. We apologize for any road noise. Lindsay is very flexible in her go camp renting. You can either, Flex. she's flexing, arrange an airport pickup or uh, I was nice enough to come up to her shop because I wanted to see her and her shop and the, all the stuff. So uh, I decided to do it here anyway, so it doesn't matter and we're actually friends, so it's not a big deal. Anyways, let's go through the go camp process. How do you do this? Here is you're home for the weekend. Oh my goodness. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay. Because I know Bo and I'm really excited. Yeah, a year ago you did a tour. There's your bed up top. Oh Freshly yeah. Freshly made, fresh sheets, right out of the dryer. Fresh sheets, yeah. Um, By the way, everybody would get fresh sheets. It's not just for me. Uh, if you, <laughs> she would actually do a cleaning yes. service that's required by Go Camp Renting. And sanitize. So this is the garage. You have beach chairs if you want to go to the beach. Um, I got you a little blue Yeti here just in case you want to go hang out at the beach and do some work, upload this video. Oh, cool. This is also a very quick run through. She would probably do a longer run through for people that are actually renting the van, but I figure for the YouTube purposes, we're gonna just quickly run through it for everybody. Quick. You got a little outdoor table. You have a sunshade here for the windshield in case it gets too hot up there. You want to keep it cooler. A projector screen. Uh, the projector is going to be in this drawer for you. You can hook that up. There's a fire stick. You just need to connect to Wi Fi. Or this your actually uh, is also doubly handly because yes. I remember from your tour. It's privacy. It's so your privacy screen. When you want to get naked back here, you can put this down. And up here, you have the extra shades for the fan oh, nice. covers in case it's too cold and you want it to be dark when you wake up in the morning. Emergency toilet. You are responsible for cleaning or I will charge you a fee. Sink's ready to go. You got a clean sponge in there. Oh, very nice. Soap in here, soap in here. Drinking water if you need it. Um, just make sure you turn on the pump if you want to use the sink. Oven and stove tops here. You got all your stuff in here. And some more stuff in this one. If you're good, you can make popcorn. Garbage, utensils, more utensils. A projector. Up here you have some cups if you want to have some wine. Just in case you forgot anything on your travels, you have some extra stuff in here. Just in I case. actually did. Well, oh my god, go. I might actually use it. Just in case. Lindsay to the rescue. I like to take care of my people. Thank you. Your bed's here. You have towels in here, cleaning supplies in here. Down below you have your water refill if you need more water. An extra phone charger up here. Lights. 
dimmer. You can set the mood for yourself. If you want to use your 120 volt, you just flip this little switch here. Oh, the inverter switch is over here? Yep. This is important, everybody, because the inverter you need to turn on. Like if I have my laptop and I want to plug in my laptop and charge it or edit a video or even my camera batteries, very important to, to use that uh, outlet. So I will be using that. You have a fire. There's a fire extinguisher. It's very important to know where that is. I'm going to head over to loading day. Are you, okay. you going to come over there as well? I will be on my way. Yep. I just have some stuff to take care of at the shop. We need to do our inspection form real quick. Look check in, check out. So we talk about the odometer. We go around and do a little walkthrough. I don't know why they used a Mercedes on there. We're going to have oh, to talk about Come on. About we're going to, we're going to have to fix that guy. This, this is this, this is, is a, a transit sprinter. but we just go through with damages and then when you come back and we check in we go through the same thing and make sure everything's good to go which it will be because you're a great driver oh i am pretty good It is Sunday. It is the second day of the festival. Usually like to do the first day kind of networking and kind of walking around and seeing as, as many rigs as I can, although it was really busy yesterday. Overcast, a little bit of rain. We had that this morning yesterday and then it cleared up by right when the gates open at 10 o'clock. So half hour, 45 minutes until the gates open again. I got my coffee. I'm good to go. You know, I'll walk around the grounds right now before the gates open. I'm sitting in my rental for the weekend which is Lindsay's van you guys can see it there i slept great i did go live yesterday with uh, a lot of people i walked around me and kyle had a good time because kyle just randomly walked into vans and started doing tours then he didn't know anything about them it was a hopefully everybody took it as a joke he was making up prices he was making up what things do in vans so it was a total like sarcastic live stream but it was a lot of fun you guys got to see a lot of rigs can't go into every single you know van or, or rig or bus or tiny house i just i virtually cannot do it there's i don't know maybe 100 120 rigs here or, or vehicles or vessels and there's also i'm also gonna get tours i gotta work today so i'm gonna get tours of people's rigs at some point i got two panels that i gotta speak on as well god i got i got a busy day I don't want to step in in my boy Keon's van. Oh man, get out of my house, dude. It's, uh, it's he's cleaning right now, so I don't want to do this, but I can't, can't wait to tour this thing. It's looking real good, looking real clean. I asked him if it was for sale, and this dude says, nah, I kind of like it, but I think you should sell it. I, I, I am. Uh, this time on the tour, we're actually going to talk about the van. Okay. So no more bromance. All right, man. What the hell, man? Come no, on. No. I, you're my dude. No, we're going to do more bromance <laughs> than ever. No, actually, guys, look at this layout. It's really different. I'm at the sliding door right now. Keon's in the back. His bed is right there. It's a Murphy bed. And then he's got a U-shape uh, kitchen, you know, dinette style or whatever it is. Whatever. I think it's well thought out, man. It's a different layout, and I like different. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. That's good stuff, everybody. Let's go check out some more. People are still sleeping, so it's going to be a little harder to kind of see what's up with people you know we got a whole bunch of buses back here buses are rad i can't wait to do one I, i'm ambushing yeah, anchor right else. now <laughs> ambushing anchor right now are you guys gonna do the brava test yeah Today? we are <laughs> all right i'm with anchor hey. We're, they're gonna test brava on this one right here it's a 767 mm -hmm. yep, and the brava houses. is like an, an electric oven on steroids. I have one personally. I love it. It cooks infrared and it's uh, it can sear a steak. So if that anchor can run that, I'd be impressed. All right, bye anchor. Bye. My man EJ from Johnson Custom Van Solutions. Now I'm gonna get a full tour in with him, so we're not gonna show too too much. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeves. We showed it on the live yesterday. Uh, Kyle did a phenomenal tour in this, and I, why do I keep walking into this? Because this is one of the nicest vans. Uh, that I've seen here at Tiny Fest. Um, everything in here is hand cut by EJ himself. Uh, he is a uh, finished carpenter for many, many years. So he took that trade and now he's made it into probably some of the slickest, nicest vans out there that are done without a CNC. Not saying CNCs are bad. All right, that was just a very, very quick 
walk in from the outside into inside. Just gonna show you guys a little bit of what's going on inside. I'm not mic'd up, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. There's a lot of vendors on the inside section of it. People are saying hi to me, so it's a little hard. This is why I don't record here, by the way. What up, homie? Vamanos vans, they're good people. Go camp rental people. My good friend Katie works for them. Here's Katie right here. What up, Katie? What up, Katie? What are we doing? What are I'm we just doing? walking around. Always wheeling and dealing. After this, we'll walk outside to the tiny house section. We'll kind of walk through that real quick. Wanted to go see SoCal Customs real quick because I'm gonna try to get some tours in with them. And here they are, right here. Boom. All right. I'll catch you guys up on the outside. So now this is the other side of outside. A couple vendors out here. Oh, Guzzle H20. They're right here. I love Guzzle H2O. We got bubbles, big, big bubbles. But I actually have to go to a panel right now. Uh, it's my third and final panel of the weekend. This one's a fun one. I got a really cool crew. It's just constantly running around here, guys. This is what I do. I love every minute of it. Oh, this is a t cool tiny house. Look at that thing. The whole side of it opens up. It's small. So it looks like a little cool little office that you can put, a little ADU. It's worth it to pay what they charge if you know that you can't do it yourself yeah with that with diy there's definitely a learning curve uh <laughs> the first time you do something it's going to take twice as long as you thought it was gonna and then you'll probably want to redo it again i want to say hi i want to say hi i want to say hi thank you jeez that took you long enough <laughs> hey <laughs> Okay, this is a bus. Very nice bus. It's also old school. It's like a 1990-something bus. Oh, well, why'd you do it in the first place? Because it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let there be light. This is nice. Nice. Is that a washer? There's a washer dryer. It's an oh all-in-one washer dryer. Oh my god. Yeah. Really cool. Wow. Nice little vanity. I don't think I ever introduced you guys and who you actually are, but you want to say who you are? I'm Liz. Destiny. There you go. <laughs> and follow them on the I, I grant. I, Choose what? the path Instagram. you take. Choose, Choose the path, the path you take. Yeah. Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, well, I, well. I don't even know their own. I don't even know their handle. Jeez, what kind of friend are you? None. He's working on it. <laughs> I'm working on friendships. I'm working on friendships. <laughs> your All house right. is beautiful. Oh, thanks. My wife designed it. She just showed up out here. What's your Instagram so, so people can find you? Uh, we are at yeah. the Unhustle Bustle. Designer. Hey. Designer. <laughs> designer. Wife. Designer. So I left Tiny Fest this morning. I was up a little late last night, you know, having some good conversation with some people. And I slept in a little bit. By the time I woke up, pretty much the parking lot was almost empty there was some stragglers left i am now headed back to Lindsay's shop which is where i'm gonna drop off this as a go camp rental i wanted to make a quick little stop because on the way to Lindsay's shop is actually a location that i stealth parked in for the six months that i lived here in san diego in my second van i usually found about three to five spaces to park at throughout the the week and i would rotate them either every day or every other day is an apartment complex right there and there's a highway right there i'm gonna put the camera out the window so you guys can all see but that's it i used to just park on the side of the road there i was never ever ever bothered this was probably my favorite location to park at i would never ever leave out the sliding door never got a door knock stealth camped here in san diego this is about 20 minutes give or take from the ocean so you have to get a little bit further away from the ocean for you to not get that door knot at least in san diego i will drive up here a little bit so you guys can see what was the other reason why i parked at this location so the other reason was because i don't know if you guys will see but there is a planet fitness legitimately right back where i was parking it was perfect i would wake up in the morning and i'd get a workout in i'd get a shower in which was also important on to Lindsay's shop and some coffee i'm about to sign some documents releasing the go camp back to her she's actually going to inspect it she doesn't trust me really all i did was take it from her shop to the festival and back i didn't really go on adventure with it but i guess that's the idea of go camp you can rent a go camp and you can do anything you want there's a nice little eye patch you got going on here apparently i use a quarter tank of gas 
and I didn't fill it back up, so your boy's gonna be charged with a quarter thing of gas. Completely forgot I gotta fill up the damn thing. But I like this form, it's actually really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up here with Lindsay, and that uh, kind of concludes the whole weekend at Tiny Fest. She's gonna give me a ride, uh, actually, down to another shop. See you later.